What's up? Welcome to your daily look on Blitz for Wednesday. It's the hump day, April 17, 2024. How's everybody doing? Hope you're having a great week. It's, uh, it's all downhill from here, right? Starting on Wednesday, then it just flies, you know. So uh, please visit the Buckeyecast.com. Check out the video ball. Get yourself uh, some Buckeye gear. You've got tank tops, things for summer, you know, uh, water bottles, all kinds of crap. If, you, if there's something you're looking for that you would like that you don't see in there, hit me up. Let me know. There's a contact form on the site that goes right to me. And all my contact info is on the site. Call, text, email, whatever. So um, check it out, though, the Buckeyecast.com. Um, everything's still on sale, too. So uh, today we're talking about BIA. The secondary really showed off its depth on Saturday, and uh, I'm, I, you couldn't help but notice, I mean, with four picks, a ton of PBUs, both the corners and the safeties, these guys were making plays. They had they had Carnell Tate locked up. Emeka had to make a one-handed catch just to get some yards. Well, they locked down Jeremiah Smith, the, the monster. So uh, this, this is going to be the best secondary in the country, man. Freaking Caleb Downs, Lathan Ransom. We didn't even get to see Lathan, um, but even even the young guys stepped up in his spot. And then, of course, Burke and, and IGB on the outside. Hancock in the slot. This is this is incredible. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, starters didn't play too much in the spring game. Um, they didn't play at all in the second half. Uh, the, the benefit, though, is that the depth guys get plenty of reps. They get to play in the shoe in front of 80,000. You know, some some guys, maybe the stage gets too big for them or maybe just getting a taste makes them, makes them that much hungrier. You know, so uh, Jim Knowles said, quote, our DBs are BIA, best in America. We led the country in pass defense in 2023. I think it was 96th when I got here and it was number one last year. He's correct. I checked those numbers. Um, so they've taken that spirit. It's a competitive spirit. It's an expectation now. It doesn't matter who we're going with. They view it as a standard. And that's really leveled up, like especially the corner room. Much, much improved over the last few years. So you got Calvin Simpson Hunt, Jermaine Matthews, Aaron Scott Jr., Jalen McClain. They all stepped up to make plays in the secondary behind the starters. Um, depth is key. We talk about this almost every episode. In a, in a long 16 or 17 game season, depth is key at all positions. Doesn't matter, secondary or whatever. Um, Day said it's, it's the deepest cornerback room he's had since he's been there. Uh, Ryan Day went on to say, quote, we have to play depth and it was good to see Jermaine get in there a little bit at nickel. Uh, Jordan Hancock is going to be uh, the starter at nickel there, but he can jump out the corner, so that gives us gives us some flexibility. Uh, then seeing Calvin out there as, as well, and the other guy who had a really good spring until he had to have a little procedure done out of caution is Lorenzo Styles Jr. Good to hear that Low Styles is is having a good spring too, even though we didn't see him in the spring game. Uh, the DBs totaled six pass breakups, four picks. Uh, they also held the team's quarterbacks, uh, yeah, the offense's quarterbacks to 5.7 yards per attempt. Hello. Um, but the starter, starter set the tone. Uh, IGB had blanket coverage on a few end zone shots to Carnell Tate and Jeremiah Smith. Uh, Jim Knowles said, quote, when you have corners, you can count on, you can count on that are going to compete all the time, no matter what the situation is. And we've developed that. It changes the way you call the entire game. Uh, you're able to leave those guys on an island. You're able to switch up coverages. They know what, what they're doing, and they take great pride in it. Um, the senior leader of the, of the cornerback room, Denzel Burke, of course, entering his fourth year as a starter for the Buckeyes. Uh, he's been eager to see these young players contribute. Uh, after the game, Denzel said, quote, my reps have been limited, so I've had a chance to see the younger guys and how they move. I'm really excited that we have Aaron Scott and we have Miles Lockhart. Uh, Bryce West didn't get any reps today, but in fall camp, we should be able to see what he's got. Uh, we have Calvin. I'm excited to see what they do and how they continue to develop. 
Calvin got a job. Uh, so CSH went head to head multiple times on Saturday against Jeremiah Smith, and he held his own. He also took advantage of an overthrown ball by Lincoln Keenholes, came up with the interception there. Um, Jim Knowles said he's, quote, he's one of those guys that just competes every day. Doesn't say much. He's trying to live up to the standard of the other guys. And you see him coming along. You see him step by step coming along. Talking about CSH there. Um, Aaron Scott, another young guy, true freshman, showed his five-star talents. Uh, he had two pass breakups uh, in the spring game. And one that, that hit his hands for a near interception. Almost. That's why you play corner. Uh, but anyways, uh, Jermaine Matthews, he stayed tight in coverage all afternoon. Got a PBU of his own. So the guys were flashing all over. Uh, Denzel said after the game, well, probably the best room I've had since I've been here. Uh, the, com the camaraderie is good. We're tight. We do everything together, and the sky's the limit. Uh, my job is just to continue to bring the younger players up and show them what it is and what it means to be on the field and represent BIA. So... <laughs> Uh, Saturday injuries limited the, the safety depth. You had starter um, Lathan Ransom out and um, top backup Malik Hartford out. And then the uh, experienced Jahad, Jahad Carter was out. Um, but uh, the, the guys who played made plays. Um, Richard freshman starter Jaden Bonsu, he got the start there in place of Lathan Ransom. He had five tackles. Uh, Freshman Jalen McLean, uh, he undercut a corner route for an INT. Uh, Jim Knowles says, quote, our depth was really down at safety this spring. It opened up opportunities, and Bonsu is a guy who really got a lot of reps. You saw him improve. Then McLean, I think, is a great plus. He's a guy who, can, who has football intelligence. He's picked up. One of the, those incoming freshmen who still should be in high school. He's a guy I think you can point to, and he's going to be a player. So uh, Ohio State spring game showed that it has both the experience and the young depth to be one of the nation's best defenses again in 2024. Um, it looks like it could be better than last year, dare I say, dare I say. Uh, Denzel Burke, uh, to finish up here, said, quote, it's really fun to be in games like this, and it's a, a little foreshadow of what the season is going to be like. I'm really excited for what we had to offer, and we have all the chips in this year. We want to win it all. That's the only goal. That's it. He's been saying it since uh, spring practice started. Um, every time they put a microphone in his face, natty or bust. Natty or bust, natty or bust. And uh, having Denzel, four-year starter, you know, instill the BIA culture, the standard in the young players is going to pay dividends down the road uh, across the board. And uh, then at safeties, you know, you got Lathan Ransom on his last year, Hancock his last year, uh, Caleb Downs will be back for one more year that he's gone. So, um a lot of high-end, high-quality dudes and high-level players to look up to for these young uh, freshmen. So, so I got for you today. Please visit thebuckeyecast.com. Check out the video ball. We'll talk to you later. Go Bucks.